Okay, so here I have two point charges. These are the same two point charges in my previous video in which I calculated the electric potential due to these two charges. So the question is, if I have charge Q1 and charge Q2, and this is negative, and they're separated by a distance S, where is the electric potential equal to zero? And in fact, I'm going to focus just on the x-axis. Where on the x-axis is the electric potential equal to zero? Where all over is it equal to zero? Is it actually a cooler problem that I just thought of? And maybe I'll do that later. Um, so here I have, this is a four nanocoulomb and negative three nanocoulombs, and that's the distance S. Okay, so let's break this into three regions. Region one, region two, and region three. And let's think about which region we want to look at. So let's start in region one, so I'll call this V1, or V11, A, let's call this A, B, C. So VA, how about that? VA is gonna be uh, V1 plus V2, so it's gonna be, and these are the potentials with respect to infinity, of course. So it's gonna be, let's say this is a distance uh, at location X. So this is gonna be K times Q1 over this distance, which is gonna be the magnitude of X because X is gonna have a negative value, so I have to use, I'm gonna use it like that. And then I'm gonna add the potential of this one, which is gonna be K times Q2 over the magnitude of X plus S, right? I have this, this one is further away, it's some distance S away. Now the question is, where would this be equal to zero? Okay, so this is a positive number, right? Because Q is positive, and this is the negative number. So is it possible that these two could equal each other and make opposite of each other and add zero? And the answer is no, because this one is a larger charge with a shorter, always gonna be a shorter distance. It's always gonna be closer. It's always closer because this one has that extra S in there. And this one is a lower charge. So there's no way, or there's no way this could, these could ever add up to zero. This is not gonna work. Okay, now let's look at C. Let's do the same thing. So here I have K, Q1 over, this is gonna be the distance X. So it's gonna be X minus S, right? Cause that's this distance. Um, plus K, Q2 over, I'm sorry, this is just X. K2, Q over X minus S. Okay, now could that equal to zero? This is tough, right? Because here I have, this is divided by a larger charge than that one. Um, let's just do something. Hmm, I think this one I'm not sure about. Actually, I, th I thought it would be Z, would not be, but now I'm not so sure. So let's just skip to region three, and we have this. I have K, and, and that's Q is a negative. K, Q1 over, <clears throat> I'm right here, this would be X plus K, Q2 over this distance, which is gonna be S minus X. Right, because this distance is S and that's X. This is S minus X. And I want to set that equal to zero. And so and solve for what value of X this would be. Okay, so let's just switch to another piece of paper and write that same equation down. And so remember, I'm using the uh, Q is positive. The one Q2 is positive. So if K Q1 over X plus K Q2 over S minus X equals zero. And I want to solve for X. So let's just um, add this, subtract this from both sides. I get K Q1 over X equals negative K Q2 over S minus X. Uh, the K's are gonna cancel. Uh, now I'm going to multiply both sides by X uh, and then multiply both sides by S minus X. So I get, uh, and, and divide the K's, I get Q1 times S minus X equals negative Q2X. Now I can multiply this out. I get Q1S minus Q1X equals negative Q2X. I can add that to both sides. Q1S equals 
q1x minus q2x. So q1s, factor out the x, is going to be q1 minus q2 times x. So x is going to be equal to q1s over q1 minus q2. Now, this is a negative charge, right? So this is negative of the negative. But if I put this in, I put in my value for s in q1 and q2, I get 0.571429 meters. And I rounded it out. I, I carried a lot of digits. Because if you take this and put it into the previous calculation where we did uh, where is electric potential equal to zero, you do get something that's super close to zero. Not exactly, but super close. So there you go. Now, for the question of the region C, uh, I'll come back to that later, because I, I think, I thought it was zero. Um, in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'll make a program to plot the electric potential as a function of distance, uh, and we'll make a graph and see where it's equal to zero.